Hello, uh, thanks for tuning in again. You don't see a fly tying vise in front of you because what the fly I'm going to tie next is a booby. And before we actually get on to tying the fly, I want to show you how I prepare my eyes. Now, you can buy eyes pre-cut. Uh, they come in tubes and packets and, and they're perfectly suitable for boobies. Or you can buy floozy eyes, which are pre-formed booby type eyes. But I like to cut my own. It gives you a lot more versatility and you can get exactly what you want. So uh, what I use is these Gunville cutters. Uh, you'll not see them very well for there, but I'll show you them in close up later on. And I'll put the details up on where to get them. They come in various sizes from nine millimeters down to 2.8 millimeters, which is the smaller ones. Uh, what I'm gonna to use today is the seven one. This is my, my sort of standard size. A bit bigger than most, I suppose. So you just put that in. Make sure it's locked up. I find if you lubricate the cutter, you just get a much more neat cylinder. It's every bit as good as the manufactured ones you buy from the shop. You can see there, there's absolutely no difference. Uh, Gunville cutters also do various colours of foam. They do the pink, orange, yellow. There's, there's as many colours as you'll need. And they also do a peach colour, white. Whatever your requirements, um, they can supply it. So that's, that's how I cut the tubes. Uh, when I come back in a second, I'll have switched to a macro camera and you'll see how I form the eyes much more easily. As I was saying before, you can see the tubes here, they're, they're immaculate, they're, they're perfectly formed, there's no rough edges, nice and smooth. So the first thing I do then, is I take my tube and I cut it approximately in half. So I get two eyes for every cylinder. I'll just put one to the side. The next thing I do then, is simply hold the tube in my hand and using my scissors, I just trim round the edge of the cylinder. It doesn't have to be too neat. I'm just sw switching to the other end now. And same with the other side. There we go. So I've got myself a pretty rough looking tic tac. So the next thing I'm going to do is with my bodkin, I'm going to find the center of the booby eye and just stick it in like that. Now this serves two functions. Uh, when I've done it, I'll have a little hole that shows me where the middle of the cylinder is and I'm about to use a lighter to just smooth off the edges of the eye. And that stops my fingers getting burnt. Did take several attempts before I realised that this would be the best way of doing it. But there you go, you can't fix stupid. Simply remove it then, and what you've got is a little tic tac. And when I'm feeling really bored, I sit and do hundreds of these little things so that when I come to tie boobies, they're all ready. Now, there's a couple of ways of um, applying them to the fly itself, and I'm going to show you them when we move on to tying the booby next. Right, I'm going to show you how uh, I can pre-form some booby eyes. This is really handy if you're, if you do a bit of competition fishing. Uh, when you're away, there's nothing worse than not having stuff pre-prepared. But before I do that, I just wanted to point out a couple of features of the cutting tools I was using that I wasn't able to do so with my other lens. Uh, it's obviously, it's a bit like the car aerial that we used to use in the old days, um, but it's purpose made and it's got a little slot here. So once you've drilled the holes, there's no longer picking at this end. You simply put your bodkin needle in, push it out and job, job done. So it's a really great bit of kit. Well worth picking a set up. Uh, so I've already got together two or three of my little tic tacs 
And what I would do, when I'm going away, I hate tying while I'm away, but when I needs must, I always have booby eyes already made up. So first thing I do is just press the, the tick tack up to the needle. Where I had that hole that I mentioned earlier in, I catch that in, one, two, three, and then I just put a half hitch in. And if I'm doing a load, I take it off the needle, get my next one up, one, two, three, and a half hitch in. And then I would just keep going for as many as I want to do. And if I'm going away, I tend to make around 10 of each colour, and then that does me. So what I end up with is a little string here, as you can see, and then I'll just come in with my snips and trim that away. So excuse me a second while I just reconfigure my vise. Right, what we're going to do next is the other way that I can make booby eyes. So as before, the pre-made ones, I can just stick it on the hook like so. And that's ready to go. Um, but what I've become more accustomed to doing now, I'm just waxing up my thread here. And for this one, I'm just using the Beavis E01. It's in black. And I've got a Hanak 970 barbless in the vise. So I'm just going to bring that on. Catch my thread on. A little bit and then come back. But I'm not actually going to tie a fly at the minute. So remember when uh, I showed you when I was making the eyes, I used my bodkin needle, and what I'm looking for is the little hole that I've made. So, once I've located that, I just make a little loop in my thread. Just go over it twice, keep it under tension, and then wrap it up. Now, some people prepare their booby eyes like this, so they they put the booby eyes onto the hooks like this. And then tie the fly up to the booby eyes. I don't like doing that. I uh, prefer to do it a different way. And I'll show you that when we come to actually tie a fly. So I'll just take that away and I would come with some super glue, varnish, UV resin, it's up to yourself and just secure my booby eye in like that. Very simple. So that's the two methods. You either preform them like so and then put them onto the hook or you do as I've done here. I hope that's of some use to you. There are other ways. Some people use dremels to smooth off the corners. Some people stick them in the oven. Uh, I don't tie enough to warrant that kind of volume so I just stick with this method if you're only tying for yourself this is more than adequate thanks very much for watching in the next video I'll tie your first booby fly for you